Hello guys, here we are again to talk about Sardinia. I opened at my bed and breakfast, I, let, I have a lot of guests and they always ask me which is the best itinerary, what we have to visit, especially in August that is high season. Here in Sardinia, August could be terrible because uh, Italians also have holidays and you know it's summer, so a lot of people everywhere, especially in the most beautiful attractions of the high and that's why I always uh, suggest to everyone to visit Sardinia in uh, June, uh, May and uh, especially September and October are the best best month. But let's see, if you already organized your trip to Sardinia, mm, you already know something uh, about the best areas okay uh, all, uh, all the times I make my video um, they are <laughs> really homemade videos I have no effects no stop so um, so let's see I have only this this little map that you can that you can see if there, there there's there's too much light okay let me see if like that is it's better okay no okay now is now we can talk okay the most attractions you know costa smeralda this area so a lot of people want to visit uh, Cap beach capriccioli spiaggia del principe another the be another wonderful part of sardinia is absolutely the north part so palau islands of la maddalena and caprera and uh, here we have San Teodoro, um, here with uh, the beach uh, La Cinta and Calabrandinchi, but also the Gulf of Rosei. Um, people want to visit a lot, you know, this part of the coast, Costa Rey, and also Stintino. Stintino, oh my god, okay, Stintino, uh, the island of uh, Asinara, Alghero. Okay. Um, what, what, what I want to tell you that these are really wonderful, wonderful places but in August is hard to visit them because are very crowded so what you have to do if you want to visit the best uh, beaches of, of Sardinia of Costa Smeralda, San Teodoro Gulf of Rosei, uh, Alghero and Cagliari also, also in this part first of all wake up early <laughs> okay wake up early so don't go to the beach around i don't know 11 you you go around half past eight so you can find your little mm, piece of paradise um and, and not a lot of people uh, another thing i have to say that in these in the in the in the, in the most famous uh, beaches you always pay parking and it's kind of one euro sometimes two euros per hour so it's better probably if you can make the ticket for all the day always going early in the morning so you can enjoy uh, all the day um, if you want to visit Gulf of Rosei and uh, Costa Smeralda and uh, sorry and the islands of La Maddalena and Caprera is important to know that uh, in August here in Sardinia they organize there are some companies that organize these uh, big boats um, to bring people to visit uh, all the highlands of La Maddalena and all the Gulf of Orosei that are mm, special special places to me, to me, the best is the Gulf of Rosei, this area. Anyway, and uh, when you when you book these uh, big boats, uh, sometimes there are really a lot, a lot of people, but they are cheap, you know, because if you rent uh, your own little boat or you go uh, with uh, something, uh, someone who brings you with a little boat to make the tour can be very expensive like uh, 100 euros uh, just for one person if you are in two 200 uh, 200 euros just to to visit so mm, really i have no solution to understand to visit the, the best attraction this is not the right uh, month if you want to uh, save some money but if you want to try and you want to make the tour boat with all the people with the big boats here in the Gulf of Rosei and in uh, La Maddalena and Caprera, you can do it. Mm, my recommendation is to go um, in the week, not, not in the weekends, because in the weekends uh, there are... Um, 
more people because also you know Sardinian people uh, want to go they are okay we go on Saturday we go on Sunday so a lot a lot of it's too much crowded okay so go in the middle of the week book in advance one day before you call because of course they speak in English so when when you when you call I have a lot of contacts with uh, with this kind of companies and you can you can be lucky so you can enjoy you can find not, not a lot of people and you can visit the best attraction in Sardinia but there is another thing I want to to say that it's it's nice to to discover Sardinia and going in alternative uh, place places that they are as as wonderful as the the most beautiful attractions the only thing is that the most beautiful attrac attractions are are like that are wonderful to visit but they are proposed like they are more touristic you know and there are a lot a lot of places not touristic in Sardinia wonderful at the same so um, especially for those who are visiting this part of Sardinia near the Gulf of Rosei. Rosei is a uh, is this a little village on the on the coast and is full 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 of long and big beaches so uh, less people um, is very wide you can really enjoy relax and do this uh, and spend your your um, your days uh, to the beach not 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 waiting for the parking not you know hearing too much people around so the area of, of rosé is uh, wonderful and also the north the the part in, in the north of Orosei, so Siniscola, especially I love, I love a lot to go to the uh, beaches of um, Biderosa and um, and Berkida. They are here, always the sun. They are kind of here. Now I write on a, on a piece of paper their their names. They are mm, natural protected area and. Uh, very very wide you don't risk to uh, to to be surrounded by by the world and uh, you can enjoy your your little paradise in Sardinia so wait if I if I if my pen can can write no it's not writing he's not writing okay anyway Berkida and Bide Rosa Berkida and Bitterota. I will write uh, under this video the names. <laughs> okay. And uh, at the same we can say um, uh, that this part of Sardinia, okay, so the north part after Palau and Santa Teresa di Gallura, at the same is very wild, it's wonderful and less less people. Uh, and especially Costa Verde. So uh, under Oristano this part um, there are a lot of wonderful places and it's not touristic you know like like the north I don't want to say that you don't don't have to go please go okay but always ask when you go to a bed and breakfast if you go to an hotel always always uh, talk about your your needs okay how you want to spend your holiday if you want because if you follow only um, ordinary ordinary um, touristic information uh, you can um, you can risk to lose the best of your holiday so always say okay I, I want to I want to visit this this place I know it's wonderful at what time you have to go so be specific okay only this and um, what, what else um, I want to say? Okay, uh, like in the other month of the year, the best way to visit Sardinia is by car. So please rent a car or if you come from parts of Europe, like from Spain, France, uh, you can come with your car on the boat because the, the best place is to go round and round Sardinia. If you have something like 10 days, uh, of holiday uh, you can visit a lot of wonderful uh, itineraries you can do a very coast to coast tour and uh, for now it's all it's all if you have other questions you can write me through my blog or you can comment this video and ask me other other uh, tips for your holiday 
Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Enjoy your your trip to Sardinia.